Hello, everybody. Ian Robson. Welcome back to another episode of Coffee with Ian. The coffee's kind of cold now. I was messing around with my computer for a while there, and then uh, watched a little bit of YouTube and got sidetracked a little bit. But you know, that, like, what? <laughs> when does that not happen when you have YouTube up? Watching some fish videos. Just got back from a vacation and went up north, and, well, northern Ontario, Perry Sound area, and uh, did a lot of fishing. A lot of pike fishing, actually. I don't normally fish for pike where I am located here. Um, it's more largemouth bass is what you tend to catch a lot more of. But uh, up where I was, close to Georgian Bay Area, there's a lot of <laughs> a lot more pike. And some big smallmouth as well, of course, and some big la largemouth, but I caught mostly pike, just because I think that what I was fishing with. So I actually had a lot of good luck fishing with a big spoon. Um, it was made in um, Quebec, too, which is kind of interesting. There was a Williams Wobbler, I think the spoon was called. I was uh, delightfully surprised how well it worked in that body of water. Uh, it worked very, very well. So, anyways, there's that. Another news, uh, getting away from fishing, although I've talked about fishing for ages now. Um, they, there have been a couple updates in the world of video games. One of the biggest updates that I noticed is the fact that um, they announced that Oregon for American Truck Simulator will be coming out next week. Uh, it's one of the big updates. Uh, the other update that I noticed is where are we here so uh, american truck summit heads to oregon next week in its third major expansion so that's going to be pretty sweet when that gets released of course the uh the uh, trailer update has been released uh, the other thing they're talking about doing is a chrome pack is out like i mentioned that last time uh, and they're talking about the baltic sea update in ets uh, and they're working on st petersburg which is pretty cool so we'll see how that works out in the game itself also, there has been another update and another DLC for The Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, this one is called, so they released the Mallard Duck DLC, uh, or the Mallard Duck update, I should say. And with it comes the DLC, although I haven't really looked at it much yet, so I don't know much about it as of yet. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So this is, this is what they say about it. Uh, we're pleased to re re release or announce the new Mallard Duck update, as well as accompanying paid DLC. It's now live on PC. Um, so there's new weapons. You get a 20 gauge shotgun, same automatic shotgun with three variations: 20 gauge steel birdshot, Malloy de Mallard decoy uh, ducks, a blind incognito deluxe waterfowl, and a couple other things. So. And it's a five dollar DLC, so it's not a huge, not a huge money grab. <laughs> well, it's still, you know, the way, the way they, they talked about not instead of doing micro transactions, the hunt in the new in the new version of the hunter, uh, they just did that kind of change. So they made it so it's like small little DLC, so you can buy them. So you get the you can actually hunt for the mallard duck in late and low or late and uh, late and lows, but you don't have to buy the DLC with all the extra guns and all that stuff. But if you want to, of course, you can always go ahead and try it out. So there's kind of quite a few things that just uh, popped up over the last a little while. Actually, you go away for a week and look at all, look at everything that happens. So, and apparently there's an update to Car Mechanic Simulator as well, which is engine swaps and rim painting performance parts in patch 1.5.22. So apparently there's a new update there as well. So lots of little things going on. And of course, um, if you've been paying attention to Farming Simulator 2019, they released another fact sheet Friday last week. Uh, showed a couple new things on there, which is pretty interesting. Nothing I was blown away by, uh, by any means, but let's see if I can find it real quick here. Um, let's see, on the Twitters is where I tend to see them the most often. Yeah, so they released a picture of a MT-800E Series Challenger tracked tractor with a Bednar cultivator. And it looks like, I'm not sure if it's a two-tiered cultivator or if it's something attached behind the cultivator as well, but there was that. Uh, they also left a picture of the Module Express 635, which is the cotton harvester. So for those people who are jazzed about cotton harvesting, there's that, which is a baler style, which drops a big square bale. And they also ta have a picture of the wagon that picks up the bales, looks like. And then here's the actual wagon itself, which is a, they have a wagon and they also have a case maximum series, uh, 1445 looks like. And that was it. So, you know, if you're into the cotton side of things, uh, it's definitely cool to see. If you're not into the cotton side of things, then you're kind of like, oh, okay, cool. The cultivator is a small little cultivator. 
Uh, it's only like what six meters wide, so it's not a huge one by any means, but it looks like it's a fertilizer as well or a cedar. I can't tell. Bednar Farm Machinery cult says cultivator of six meters wide, but it has fertilizer. It looks like, uh, yeah, looks like you can fertilize with it too. So I don't know. Kind of some interesting things. What are we coming up to October? So we're down to uh, just under two months now. We'll be soon. So November 20th is when they have their uh, supposed release date. Hopefully it goes smoothly. Uh, often those things, those types of releases don't. But, you know, I think last time 20 on the FS17, I think the release was pretty smooth. There were some obvious big things that need to be adjusted with the logging side of things. But from what I can remember, most of it was pretty smooth. Um, I don't know, I don't do a whole lot of logging anyway, so I'll have to see how that comes out. But yeah, it'll be a pretty interesting week coming up with all, this, all the updates to uh, American Truck Simulator and European Truck Simulator there with the, with the Baltic Sea update, whenever that happens. Uh, but Oregon's going to be pretty cool, so we'll be able to have a couple different um, areas to go now. So we have uh, Arizona, California, uh, Oregon, and Nevada, I guess, are going to be the big places we're going to have, so it's going to be pretty neat. Going to be quite, uh, well, by the time there's all, when it's all said and done, it'll be quite expansive, so we'll see what happens there. So, hmm. Anyways. And if we, anyways, folks, hope you had a good day, and uh, that'll be it for me for today. <laughs> Until next time, enjoy the coffee. Hmm. Good coffee.